All right, this test is a little bit different than anything I've done before, but I thought it'd be interesting. I recently heard a study about money saying that 90% of our money contains cocaine, and it led me to think about how much bacteria is growing on our money. I went to thinkgeek.com and I picked up this bacteria growing kit. I plan on testing uh, money from my wallet, money from a cash machine, money from Safeway or bonds depending on what area you're in, and money from 7-Eleven. So I put it in the order that I think um, bacteria will grow. The least will be on the wallet and then the most will be on the one at 7-Eleven or Safeway. To grow bacteria you, you use auger and it calls for chicken broth, fat free chicken broth and you mix the two together and uh, you put the resulting liquid on the petri dish and then I'm going to swab each dollar bill. The $20 bill is from the cash machine because you can't take dollar bills out of the cash machine and put it on the petri dish and then I'll watch what grows. I mean I'm going to be as scientific as I can and try to prevent contamination but this is more for fun than taking this um, I mean I'm not doing this in a lab or anything so uh, we'll see what happens, we'll see the results, they could be uh, promising, could be something that I'll, I'll continue doing or this could just be a, a flop but we'll see and hopefully I'll get an interesting result Okay, so I have the petri dishes labeled. Now I'm going to make the um, auger and chicken broth solution and fill up the petri dishes. There's my one liter of chicken broth, or 4.2 cups, and my auger. And now I'm going to add and bring to a boil. I now have my petri dishes uh, filled with the auger and chicken broth solution. So the solution is completely gelled up. Now there's a little bit of water condensation, so you just flip them over until uh, that dries. And then the next step is to swab the money and plant the bacteria on the plates and see what grows. So the gel's hardened and dried, and it's now time to put or start um, swabbing the bills and putting it on the auger solution. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to swab the 7-Eleven. And I'm going to repeat that with all with the, the rest of them. All right. Next, I'm going to tape these up. So this is where I'm going to store it. I have the Safeway 7-Eleven cash machine wallet, and then I have another uh, one labeled cash machine. That's actually a control. It has nothing on it. There's an X on the bottom. To let me know. So I'm going to store this in a warm place and see what happens. And it's going to take three days. So after three days, I will shoot another video to see what grows, what kind of bacteria grows. So I let the bacteria sit and let grow for five days, and the uh, results were almost exactly what I was predicting. So without further ado, first we have the cash machine, which was the control that had Absolute, that had um, nothing done to it, no swab of bacteria. So, as predicted, it's uh, it's it's clear. Next, we have the wallet, or actually the cash machine. This is what I said wouldn't have anything, and there was actually 
a little bit of bacteria growth in the um, the the gel of the auger and the chicken broth um, cracked, and that's where the bacteria grew. So I don't know if it's um, because of that, but nothing else grew on it. And then we have my wallet, and just a little bit of bacteria grew on the wallet sample. And next we have Safeway, and those specks are just chicken broth. Those those the rounder ones are the the bacteria growth. So so there's more there's uh, definitely more bacteria at Safeway and the one that I predicted that would have the most bacteria growth is uh, 7-Eleven and I was correct and you can as you can see there there's the most bacteria growth at 7-Eleven so uh, I uh, that's it's pretty pretty amazing <laughs>